All right, this is an Ansible Tower demo just highlighting some of the key features that it has. And so we start with a dashboard view that shows that we have a few hosts, including one that's failed. We have a few inventories. We have a couple of projects. We also have a job status, which shows us over time the number of jobs that have been run, either successfully or not. Um, and we also have a recently used templates view and a job runs view. And we'll talk about all this here momentarily. There's also a jobs view, which is helpful, just kind of showing over time uh, the jobs that have actually run. And once again, if they completed successfully or not, uh, things of that nature. Some jobs will run longer than others, so we can sort by that view. Uh, one of the things that Tower does a really good job with, considering that Ansible is push-based, uh, Tower can uh, be an effective uh, pull or you know, effectively run things on a schedule. We haven't actually defined any of those jobs for this demo, but that, that functionality is available in Tower. Uh, basically runs it as a cron tab. And then there's also uh, a convenience view, my view, which uh, gives us a couple of the main things that we work with regularly in Tower. Number one, the job templates and also the jobs. So just having the, those views as well on the things that are here for us. And once again, that we can uh, mod uh, modify the, the way that this is viewed either by project or any other sort functionality. So in terms of working with Tower, uh, a main way of doing that is organizing our work, our playbooks around projects. And so I want to make sure that we're clear that Tower does not replace any other version control system that you may have today. We certainly do encourage you to be version controlling any infrastructure code that you're working with. And so here in this demo, uh, we are showing that we're working with a basic GitHub repo. We've updated revision on launch, and we've applied some credentials here. That's really about all it takes to do that. And the credentials themselves, I'll show you what these credentials uh, look like, how they're defined. Basically, they are source code driven. And in terms of being able to work with uh, source control, uh, being able to, to define a username, this can be something that has full admin rights. It can be something that can only view the repos and so forth, but you can either apply a, a password or a private key or both. Um, and if we wanted to go ahead and create another set of credentials, it's relatively straightforward to do that, right? We're not doing anything super fancy here. We're just basically saying, you know, we're looking for source control based credentials and we would apply the username and password and or the private key here. Uh, and so that's really all there is to it. So coming back to the projects view then, looking at this demo repo, normally we would uh, do some type of a pull, right? So all we're doing here with the refresh is just doing a, a git pull for our version control system. We'll see a little pulsing green dot here telling us that that's working. Usually just takes a short amount of time and it's already done. And so we've just made a recent change in uh, a playbook that we've added and so we were in the process of putting together uh, another template for it. So we have created a 7-zip install um, job template uh, through Chocolatey Windows Automation. We'll go into Chocolatey in a following video. Uh, but we need to now go ahead and create a removal as well. We should be able to undo things that we do um, for a variety of reasons. That's just good practice. But I want to highlight the ability to copy the job template, which saves us a lot of time um, in terms of being able to work with um, work with these job templates. We don't have to start over. We don't have to remember a lot of the details. We can just cut to the chase and the core of the things that we are actually looking to change. My computer is being a little laggy today. It is a demo environment after all. Um, so basically, we're just going to go ahead and modify the things that we uh, should about this. And as I said, we if we've done our jobs here, correctly, we should see that we have a new playbook um, that's been pulled down uh, from GitHub here called Remove7Zip, and indeed we do. So let me just double check, I didn't miss anything there. It's pointing at the Windows Automation demo inventory, we're going to save that. And then we'll just, usually it gives me a view where it shows me that it did do what I asked it to. It is actually doing some work here. Um, okay, that looks okay. 
just double check that. And the, that is now showing up. So and sometimes it, it looks like my double command, um, no big deal here. So uh, that's it for this video and we'll go into some of the specifics on the Windows automation jobs in the following video.